So guys, today we're going to be filming a new video. This video is going to be about... What's this video going to be about? I can't remember. One sec. Okay, so this video is going to be about tips on how to catch a redfin. Okay, so let's start off. Okay guys, so let's start off with tip number one. Now, the tip number one is what... Yeah, so tip number one is the weather. The weather has to be sunny. So in, when the weather's sunny, is what I'm trying to get at, uh, fish will chase lures more actively, such as like um, little soft plastics like this. So this is a little um, focus, focus, focus. Well, it's not focusing, but um, uh, these are little like Z-Man soft plastics. I'll try and get a good snapshot after of that, but um, yeah, well, you can't really see, but yeah, they're Z-Man soft plastics, so they'll um, chase those more actively in the summer. They'll also chase little spinners like this, some bright colored spinners, as you can see. I'll just put that over there, and um, in winter, they're more they're like they just sit and wait for the bait to come to them. Because in winter they're breeding, so they don't really like to chase lures unless the lure comes past them or comes on their turf. But um, here, let me grab you some worms. Mm. Yeah, there was worms in here a couple of weeks ago, but um, they might be dead now, so who knows. Yeah, um, we're going to put them back. Now for tip two. Tip two is um, about the structure, so there might be something that pops up over here. Or over here, I'm not sure what side, but um, yeah, I'll put something over oh, that side probably. Um, yeah, well, so I'm just gonna get a photo of structure like trees or rocks or like weed. Well, um, that's where the redfin like to hide. So if you like cast near the weeds, the reeds, the the tree branches or whatever, the, I don't know, whatever you want to cast next to, uh, most of the redfin would be hiding in them during winter. Also, summer they're still there. They so they just wait for the um the bait to come past. Um, so tip number three is um, redfin like bright colours. So I've got a soft plastic here. Now um, my mate gave me this soft plastic and I rigged it like a bit of a douchebag. But um, as you can see this kind of resembles a little redfin. Little perch but I can't bloody focus this stupid camera. That's the lure so I like to chase bright colours. Even like um, whites like this that you can't see but um, yeah I'm just going to just focus. Focus! Oh, uh, there, well, there's um, things there. So, yeah, let's move on to tip number four. Okay, so tip number four is to change up the lure. So, I'll get a few lures here to demonstrate with. Okay, so um, the lures that you uh, want to use or like you want to change up with, so I'll just try some soft plastics. Uh, then if they don't work, then I'll um, try like diving lures, like that. And then I'll just change up the colour of the soft plastics to a little like a Z-Man, little Z-Man grub. Or I'll try spinners. Or I'll try like different colours. So like the colours of the soft plastics. Got another one here. Little Z-Man motor oil grub. Yeah, well I'll try them and um, I'll see what works the best. See what um, the fish are most attracted to, whatever. Whatever they want to bite. And um, yeah. Okay, so um, now we're going to go on to the top baits for redfin in winter. The stuff that I like to use in winter would probably be worms. They're dead, but um, yeah, worms. Little um, mosquito fish, they work. I did a previous bait catching video on that. Uh, the link will be here. Or um, little gudgeon, or I don't know how to say them. Gudgeon, I think. They work as well. They're like really good bait. Or... I will use where I so what I was gonna say was um before I was really interrupted by my memory card but um what I was gonna say was um one of my mates got me some of these soft plastics and where I go fishing there are like little shrimp in the water or prawns or whatever you want to call them if you're American they're shrimp but if you're Australian they're prawns so they're little like freshwater prawns is what I'm gonna call them or shrimp or I don't really know yeah and um well I got these let's try and please focus please focus 
Well, I also will use live shrimp. Is where I go fishing. There are shrimp or prawns. Well, I get a net and I scoop them up, and they're live prawns. And um, the red fin just go crazy for the bait because that's what they usually eat. That's their natural source. And um, yeah, hook into a few decent sized red fin. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, if you liked it, what I want you to do is I want you to go follow me on Instagram up there. Maybe and Snapchat down there, and um, Lucas goes fishing. And stay tuned for more videos and more posts. And um, yeah, I'll show because I've just started my um, Instagram account. It's just being started, so I'll start to post more on those channels. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos, and um, see ya.